Gamers! Hello everybody and welcome to Pixel Pirate Plays Endless Space. This is your host Pixel Pirate. Now, uh, two things I need to mention. First of all, you might notice that my voice is different. Well, that's because I got myself a new microphone. Yay! So, <laughs> so it should be a bit better quality with the sound. At least I hope so, because I certainly spent enough money on it. The other thing was I, because I did buy a new microphone, my recording software didn't like it very much and stupidly I didn't test it out. So I just recorded a whole episode with no sound. <laughs> so very clever of me. So what that means is we have done some stuff in the last half an hour that you have no idea what I've done. Uh, not a great deal happened. I did build, build a few new cruisers and I, as you can see, explored quite a bit of territory. I also noticed that a lot of these other empires have a crap load of fleets. The other thing that happened was Bashir has been cut off. I can't get to Hiddle anymore, as you can see, which means I can't get any new ships to Bashir. That's bad. <laughs> so what I'm going to have to do is go to Bani. The other things that we did, like I said, we built a few new cruisers. And what else did we do? That's about it. We have two Seekers running around, just having a look at stuff. And where's the other one? He's somewhere around here, I know it. I think he's down here, yep. So let's go over here. Now, uh, before I continue actually, I should probably recap from last episode. Last episode we finally got our cruisers and started producing them. We built uh, three and sent them all to Bashir. Bashir was doing pretty well and now it's been cut off, but um, other than that, we basically did a bit of research so that we could get some improvements for our systems and we had one fight or two fights or something with some pirates. Luckily, the episode that you didn't see, we didn't have any fights, so we were able to build a whole bunch more ships. In Tylus, I now have four missile destroyers. In Hamel, I have two missile cruisers. In Bashir, I have two missile cruisers, a missile destroyer, four attack destroyers, and another two missile cruisers. So nothing to sneeze at, that's certainly uh, true. Now Bashir, I'm not sure what to do with Bashir, whether I should just completely abandon it or try and get it up to a serviceable amount of industry and pump out a whole bunch of ships or go the other way and get more influence. Problem is I'm not entirely sure how I can get more influence. I'm tipping it's going to be somewhere in here. Plus 20 influence area on star system. Well, that's one way to go about it, but that's 53 turns. Oh, that reminds me. The other thing that happened in the recording that is now defunct is we had minus, I think, minus 20% research because of a problem in the start, in the, in the Empire. One of those sort of random events that happened, which was quite unfortunate, but that ends in something like 20 turns. And I'm just going to continue to look around. I've already researched that one. Um... That does nothing. Well, it does stuff, but nothing that I want. Plus 25, trade, 100% luxury. 
money. So it looks like I'm going to have to go for this one. I just wonder. That one has a grey triangle in the corner. Perhaps if I try and find another one with grey triangle. Nope. Let's have a look on the research side. That's researched. Uh, more research, obviously. Nope. And as a, a large, last ditch effort, let's have a look at the exploration side. Oh, I've already researched that. I have no idea what that means. We're getting close to our battleship though, which is good. And from there we can jump to a Dreadnought, which is even better. Problem is, when I look at those other empires they have way 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 more ships than I do or ever could hope to have or fleets even um. nope it doesn't look like it has it so I'm going to have to bite the bullet and in a few uh, I'll probably get the battleship first and then I'll go for that, but uh, it's almost a little lost cause, Bashi. At any rate, let's end the turn. Ah, oh, good, Hamel has increased in influence. Ah, uh, yes, because I built the satellites, so that's good. Alright, what's going on in Tylus? Look, we might build a factory and put it on after the missile destroyer or even in place of the missile destroyer because we have about four missile destroyers I think in in Tylus. Yep. So for now I'm pretty happy with that. And let's go ahead and make these two into a fleet over at Hamel. Move our ships. Goodness me, this empire is gigantic. Let's go and have a look down here. And didn't quite make it. And our other little guy can go over there. Okay. And I think that's a pirate, so I'm going to go that way. I hope I remember. <laughs> Alright, so that's Hamel, and we'll end the turn. I do believe we went through around about 15 turns last... Oh. Four defenders, three pirates. Ah, uh, no, that's not good. I think I'm going to get pounded. Alright, let's choose our long range, which will be weapon disruption, and we'll go with nano repair, and I think nano repair again. Alright, so we both win there. And I've already lost a bit of health, and a bit more. I really like this cinematic style of combat. I can see when you have 10 fleets at the same time trying to fight one after the other, it could get a bit tedious. But at this point in the game, I'm quite happy with it. And I lost the card game in the second round, which does not bode well. Looks like I'm going to have to send down some missile destroyers, or even some cruisers. 
Yeah, so I think I'll send down two cruisers. And we are dead. Almost. A sliver of health left, and there we go. Well, that was terrible. But never mind. Like I said, Rassum, or I said it in the last video, <laughs> Rassum isn't overly important to me. The only thing it's giving me is titanium. And that's the only reason I want it. Okay, let's, let's send down our missile destroyers and hopefully get these damn pirates with a combined health of 1000 yes I think we might make it so we were defeated the sowers want to exchange specialized isotopes for antimatter um, yeah why not We now possess four units of antimatter, and Rassum has completed a system improvement. I think it was satellites. All right, what's next for Rassum? Um, let's go for 25 defense. That'll take two turns. And we'll dismiss that. Get our other ships moving. Alright, so... We are firmly in... Harato territory. Let's just keep looking around. And let's get our little guy out of here. And he has no movement. Oh, yes, he does. And firmly away from those pesky pirates. And let's end the turn. I'm thinking perhaps for our next game, we might just get rid of pirates altogether. Because they're more annoying than anything. I feel like they don't really add to the game overly. And they keep pounding the crap out of me, and I hate them. <laughs> okay, well, at Bashir we have completed everything, so let's go ahead and do some improvements. What have we got that's only a couple of turns? Not a great deal. I'm sort of interested in that because it gives me extra on industry. Oh dear. I might, yes, do that and wait for my cruisers to get down to Rassum because they have been blockaded. Who are you? Missile destroyers. Cruisers. Oops. Alright, get your ass down to Rassum, please. Yeah, it's going to take quite some time. We will dismiss that, and our hero has leveled up. Alright, this is the fellow in Arato, I think. So he is doing empire improvements. And we will go for happiness. Because Horato is very unhappy. Hamel, sorry, not Horato. <laughs> Goodness me, I'm getting all mixed up here. Uh, Hamel was very unhappy, now they're slightly better. Tylus is not doing too well with the happiness. But they will live. Okay. And our Seekers have some movement. So these haven't been taken yet. 
Are they any good? Doesn't look like it. Uh, that one's got okay money. That one's got very good money, but I can't colonise it just yet. And nothing overly special there. Alright, well. Whilst we wait for our cruisers to come down. Did I... didn't he just get a level... yes. I just didn't dismiss it, that's all. Alright, let's end the turn. Alright, what do you want, Sophons? No, you're not getting open borders, I'm sorry. As much as you'd like to... Oh. Ah, right. Let's get rid of those. I wondered why they wouldn't build. <laughs> Silly me. Um, 25% initial ship XP. Yeah, let's go for that. That'll take five turns. And these cruisers are taking forever. I hope that Rassum can survive that long. Let's see what we have here. Plus, plus six ship XP. No, not interested. Let's just build money. Yeah. We'll just build money. It will give us the opportunity to build more ships. Yes, we are at plus 23 now, so that's good. And we might actually build some ships here. I can build cruisers. I can actually build one cruiser. What? He is increasing in health gradually. Or I can build a couple of attack destroyers. I might do that. Let's let's get rid of that. And 294. Mm. Um let's build one. And the rest can build by themselves. Alright. And of course Rassum has completed their ship. So we'll leave that in the hangar for now. Because it will probably get pounded. How much health has that got exactly? 332. And I think he has quite a bit more than that. Yep, so we were just waiting on our cruisers to get down here. Good, they're friendly. <laughs> Certainly hoping they were. Let's get our guy down here. And that is a pirate. That's bad. Never mind, because I'm pretty much at the at the end there, so... Not too bothered. He can go to there. Just to take a look at that. And then I might go all the way down here. With that seeker. Just to have a look down there. And we can end the turn. Oh, and more pirates. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to auto that one. That's that seeker up in the top. Got no problem with that. Alright, our cruisers are approaching Rassum at a rapid rate. And 
And something's happened. Past partial dust reanimation. Enough dust has been uncovered and enough attuned heroes are using it that a partially sentient pulse was transmitted across dust affected sentinels. In a brief moment of shared knowledge and experience, the capacity of capacities of your heroes took a significant jump okay so that's plus 50 xp on all heroes fantastic and so is they want titanium in exchange for fusion fusion batteries um, two titanium for fusion batteries as technology improves fusion systems have become reusable and even rechargeable thanks to superior containment capabilities and massive capacitance systems. Uh, and that costs 680 research, so why not? Let's accept that. And both of our heroes have updated. This is our fleet hero, so I want him to have defense on fleets and offense. And I think the last two times that he was upgraded. I get, went for defense. Uh, f plus four defense versus plus three offense. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Let's go for the offense. Dismiss that. And our next guy. Plus 40 on s happiness on starship. On system, sorry. Um, yeah, we'll go for happiness. So here's Hamel for happiness now. He's static, that's good. And Rassam has completed another ship. Also good. Alright, so I'll wait till that one's complete and then we can... Make a fleet out of it. And I think the pirate's leaving. I'm not 100% sure, but... Let's continue. And we're at turn 142. Oh, so he's going to try and meet me at Nalan. Well, Mr. Pirate, you're in for a big surprise, I think. Alright, let's end the turn. And Hamel has completed uh, plus 25% on ship HP, which is fantastic, and another missile destroyer at Rassum. So let's head on down to Rassum and create a fleet with those. And you want open borders yet again, but you're not getting it. I think you want open borders because you're pretty much stuck where you are. Which means you want to come down here and take some of my stuff. Ain't going to happen, fella. Okay, now I do believe one or the other of these building a factory. Let's just buy that. And go to Nellan. Alright, so we'll go for manual. Looks like I'm going to win. Hopefully I don't lose any ships. Alright, let's go for a straight up Attack, plus 25% weapon damage, minus 25% from enemy, and then nano repair. Oh, and he won the first round of the card system, unfortunately. Wow, those torpedoes sure do their work, don't they? I 
Probably should have done a nano repair on a second one. Never mind. I'm sure they'll do fine regardless. And they are dead. I certainly made short, short work of those pirates for once. It's about time I had a victory. Alright, so let's move our cruisers down to Rassum. And we did 7,000 damage to the enemy. Wow. Alright, let's end the turn. Uh, Alright, Tylus have completed a factory and a missile destroyer. That doesn't make any sense. But I won't complain. Let's go ahead and create a fleet with that. And send them straight over to Benny. Now, Hamel can start building cruisers again. And they can pump them out at two per turn... Uh, one per two turns, rather. And our money has gone way down. It could be because Rashu was blockaded. Rassum, rather. Hmm. Not sure. They do definitely improve in money once you put them up a bit. Well, he's got 18, 24. Hmm. Interesting. What about the non-occupied systems? Not really. Okay. Tylus, what are you up to? I want you to pump a few factories out. Maybe three. And two before you build anything else. Alrighty. Move our ships in. So we have... Three missile destroyers and two missile cruisers. Look, actually what we might do is move them back to Hamel. If the missile cruisers are anything like those, I mean the missile destroyers, sorry, are anything like those cruisers, we should make short, short work of pirates if they ever hit Rassum again. Okay, so we are able now to colonize gas giants and we have a warp drive. Okay. So. Let's see what to do. Should we go for the battleship? Where was that? Here. Battleship for 17 turns, yes. I was going to go for the influence, but let's not bother. And Beshir is copying it from all sides with the influence, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, so with the technology you have unlocked, you are no longer constrained by cosmic strings and wormholes. Your only limit is your ambition. Alright, does that mean I can put cruisers and things wherever I like? What does that mean? What have we got here? Let's create one fleet. And try and get him over here. Who's that fella? He's a factory. Why won't you move? That's better. Do I have to... 
do something. Um. Hmm. Well, if you know, feel free to send me a comment if you know whether or not I can move from, for example, Tyler straight to Bashir or whether, you know, the lines don't matter anymore or what's going on. But at any rate, I think we'll end the video there. Thanks for watching. This has been your host, Pixel Pirate. And we will see you tomorrow.